It's like something straight out of a horror movie. Giant pythons invading the Everglades and killing everything in their path. Except it's not a movie. It's real and it's in Naples' own backyard. To try and get a handle on the problem, the South Florida Water Management District have hired python hunters to try and control the population. So, Amy, what's it like to be a python huntress? <laughs> it is exciting. Yeah? <laughs> I get to do a lot of cool stuff, mm -hmm. like going in the swamp in the middle of the night, jumping on giant snakes, you know, things that most people want to do. <laughs> yeah, most people. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've always loved snakes and reptiles for some reason. I mean, mm -hmm. why couldn't it be kittens and puppies? <laughs> like something normal? I have no idea. Well. But I've always loved snakes and reptiles. They are the apex predator. First of all, they are an invasive species, so they are not supposed to be here. They are here because of Hurricane Andrew in 1992 mm -hmm. came through and demolished a breeding facility and sent thousands and thousands of pythons into the Everglades. Mm -hmm. There's also the piece that pets have been released. Typical amount of eggs is gonna be between 20 and 40. Wow. Per python. But when you get to the big girls that are, you know, 17, 18 feet, <gasps> over 100 eggs they can lay. It takes a python three years to get to be 10 feet long. And it takes 200 mammals and birds to get it there. So these are the, the lights that we're gonna have so we can see the sides and so we can see these snakes. Because they are breeding at such a rapid rate, and no natural predators, it has become a catastrophic problem. The shocking statistic is that these pythons have killed over 98% of mammals in parts of the Everglades, changing the ecosystem forever. For a variety of reasons, including water flow and food sources, they are expanding their territory farther north. Capturing and euthanizing is not easy. I'm looking for, not really movement, but like shine. Oh, there's a oh, snake Oh, hey, yeah, there's a scarlet snake. Oh, my God. So this is a scarlet snake. This is really cool, and it's a really feisty one. Usually they're not so Here. feisty. Better. So. The, the scariest catches are actually the water catches. Oh. Because when, when they're in the water, I mean, they're quick, first of all. You have to, you have to be fast, and right. you can usually only grab you know, whatever you can get, and it's usually not the head. And so every time I've done a water catch, somebody else has had the tail, like they just grab the tail and they're holding on for dear life. I am in the water, feeling around, trying to find the head on it. Just, and I have no, I mean, and I'm basically, my face is right in the water. Right. I don't know where the head is. If it comes up and bites me, and I get a tooth in my eyeball, like I'm blind. They have huge teeth, not venomous, right. but huge teeth. So if somebody wanted to get involved, help, what, what do you suggest they do? They can apply for a position mm. um, online at the South Florida Water Management District or FWC website. Mm -hmm. You can also contact Amy Siwi. With more education about the issue and more hunting, hopefully they can stop these predators who are squeezing the life out of the Everglades.